Hey everyone, it's Nora from Nora's Ark here. And today we wanted to show you what our garlic is looking like. So it's early March here in Wisconsin zone 5A and we're about a week away from spring. And as you can see, our garlic is up. It's about four to six inches tall right now. And we just wanted to talk about that because I remember when we first started growing garlic, we were like, oh my gosh, it's not even spring yet. Our garlic sprouted. What if another frost comes? Is our garlic gonna be okay? <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that your garlic is going to be fine. So this is our fifth year growing garlic and it's pretty much sprouted like this every single time, sprouted before spring starts. And every single time it's been fine. Even if you do get like a hard frost, before spring comes or after spring comes some of these leaves might die back but they'll bounce back once it actually gets warm out so i just wanted to let everyone know that it's definitely okay if your garlic is sprouting up and not to worry about that but something else that i also wanted to mention is how important it is where you get your garlic the reason i say it's really important where you get your garlic is because this is going to sound crazy but your garlic learns its environment. So this specific variety that we got, we actually got it from a soil sister and she's been growing this garlic in Wisconsin for 20 plus years. And the reason it's important where you get your garlic is because like I said, garlic learns its environment. So this garlic knows that sometimes in Wisconsin it gets warm and I might sprout before I'm supposed to. And it knows that it'll still be able to grow even if it gets that hard frost after it sprouts. And what we've been doing ever since we got that garlic from a soil sister is ever since we got it from her, we've been saving the garlic cloves from what we've grown. So now this garlic knows and learns about this specific environment that it's been growing in for the last five years. So just that's all just to say like, you wouldn't wanna get a variety from California, for example, if you're growing garlic in Wisconsin. So it's just important to get local varieties of garlic. So that way, if something like this does happen, they'll know what to do and they'll be okay and be able to survive it. So like I said, we've been growing garlic for about five years and it's always sprouted like this before spring comes and it's always been fine. We always end up with big, beautiful garlic heads and it's always just fine. But just wanted to make this video because I know that when we first started growing garlic, we were definitely concerned about this happening uh, too early. We also have a lot more videos on our channel about growing garlic. So if you wanna dive deeper into that, I'll include a link below to a playlist on that. And if you learned something from this video today, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to share it with someone else who might be worried about their garlic sprouting too early as well.